Boeing technicians and engineers at NASA's Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans are pushing to complete America's rocket to deep space, the Space Launch System. There is a bunch of testing going on with various sections of the rocket, including the engine section with various leak tests and all sorts of propulsion testing to make sure that the engines will run correctly. Functional forward skirt testing, um, which means we're actually firing up the brains of the rocket today and we're sending signals in and out. Employees are busy building what will be the world's largest rocket. We're basically integrating everything in the engine section, so we're putting in feed lines, we're putting in helium tanks, we're putting in um, all the other components that, that are going to make the, the propulsion system work. We've installed all the wire harnesses, uh, which is basically the brains and the uh, avionics for the rock. So the intertank joins the liquid oxygen and the liquid hydrogen tanks together. The intertank houses the part of the brains that will help power and control the rocket in flight. The intertank will soon be mated with other sections of the core stage to make up the forward join. Once the intertank, the liquid oxygen tank, the forward skirt are joined, it'll actually come to life what the actual structure is going to look like, the actual rocket. Five sections make up the Boeing-built core stage of Space Launch System. You have the forward skirt, you have the liquid oxygen tank, you have the inner tank, you have the liquid hydrogen tank, and then you have the engine section. All of those pieces make up the core stage of the Space Launch System. Once the core stage is complete, it will stand 212 feet tall and 27.6 feet in diameter. It will be filled with 733,000 gallons of propellant to fuel the rocket's missions. Our mission is to eventually get humans to Mars, but first, we have to do a lunar mission around the moon. The first launch of NASA's Space Launch System will send the Orion spacecraft around the moon for a test flight. The SLS will enable astronauts to explore destinations far into the solar system, launching a new era of exploration beyond Earth's orbit. I think this is really important to our society. It's going to help humans explore further than we've ever gone before. Every day I know that I get to come in here and I get to, to touch hardware that will one day lead humans to deep space and Mars and beyond. And to me that's a humbling experience.